Magnetic Squatch and I am out again for another Magnetic Squatch magnet fishing adventure. Today I am meeting with a reporter from the Clay Today newspaper here in Clay County, Florida. This will be very interesting. I fished from this bridge here in Green Cove before. I know there's some items down here. There's a bike down here I know for sure. I wasn't able to get it last time because the last time I was here is when Clay lost my claw out over there. But we're here to make that right today. And also, if you'd like to join the magnet fishing family and get a magnet of your own, please check out Brute Magnetics. The link will be down in the description. You can use my checkout code TMS10. And also, don't forget to check out my line of merchandise. That link will be down in the description as well. And also, check out Dr. Squatch Soaps. That link will be down in the description. If you're tired of using nasty old bath gels, you really need to check them out. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you give this a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and smash that beautiful notification bell so you'll know when my videos come out. You're not going to want to miss some of the content I got coming out. I've got some great places planned in the future. All right, guys, here we are back at the bridge in Green Cove. First toss in. What's like the range on that? Like, do you need to be pretty close to the bike to find it, or could you be like a couple of feet away? Or? Um, no, it's got to come pretty close to it. I think I just did right on the first cast. The neat thing about this too is you, you just don't know yeah. what's down there. And um, I found some pretty neat history type things over on Black Creek in Middleburg. I pulled up the uh, outer ring, the uh, wagon wheel. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna go snag my claw real fast and see if we can't get this up. Is that magnetic too or? Is no. It, so you just want to know where something's at. This is just like a strong, really strong aluminum. Just now that you've located the bike, you're like, okay, let me get the hook out and cast it right there to grab it? Yes, sir. And actually we'll put it on with the magnet because it's, the, um, the hook is very light. So you want the weight from the hook to, or the magnet to help get it down there. I didn't get the bike, but... Oh, wow. It's a giant. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> so, it's a lot of stuff like that that will... Alright guys, we have hooked on to a bicycle down here. Now it's just a matter of getting it up to the surface. And there it is. Woo! <laughs> That's a BMX bike. The pegs on the back and everything. Yeah, the other uh, other thing about doing this is if you don't like getting dirty. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> yeah. Or even see, touching stuff like that. I can see people being freaked out. Yeah. Like, wow, that's crazy. I mean, look at all the... All the barnacles. Yeah. Yeah, everything that's on that. You can tell that's been down there for a long time. Rusted yeah. through. The pedals are gone. Wow. And that's, uh, that's actually one of the lighter bikes I've pulled up. Yeah, that's what I said. That's awesome. I picked a great day to come out here. <laughs> yeah. One of the big things is if anybody does get decide does decide to get involved in this, is don't leave your garbage behind. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times we go up to a bridge and you get there and you can tell people have been there fishing and they just leave what what they didn't want. They just they don't even pile it up somewhere for someone to come get. It's just garbage all over the place, and it's it's, yeah, it's aggravating, sure. you know. And, and things end up back in the water anyway. I'm yes, sure some yes. Walk by and they just throw it in. And... 
Absolutely. Great. Well, thank you so much, Jason. I yes, appreciate sir. It. I appreciate you coming I'll, out. Uh, I'll send you the link when it goes online. It'll probably be sometime next week, but yeah. I'll make sure to send it your way. I appreciate it. Thank uh, you very much. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day and a good weekend. Thank you. All right. Well, Wesley from Clay Today newspaper has done his thing, and he's moving on to his next stop he has today. And I've got that bike up out of the water, which was a pretty cool find. I knew it was here because the last time I was here, I kept hooking onto it with my magnet, but I didn't have my hook for some reason, Clay. <clears throat> but I was able to get it today, and it's out of the water. Now I'm moving on to see what else I can find out here. Next toss in the water, y'all. Guys, I just found the handlebars to the bike. Let's see if I can get it up without losing it. There we go. Yep. Just found the handlebars to the bicycle. All right. Well, there's pedals and the back bike is down there. Oh, hey. We got us a little friendly. Little friendlies get to go home. All right, I've latched on to something else here. Oh, it looks like it's just a big old pipe. Yep. It's a big old pipe up out of the water. But hey, I ain't gonna lie. When I saw this coming up, I saw about that much of it sticking out from the magnet the way it was hanging. Guys, I seriously thought I had a shotgun for a second there. All right, everybody, very next cast out after that pipe, I get an L bracket, piece of angle iron. Finding all sorts of stuff over here this time. All right, there's something on here and it is, ah, part of a strap. Well, that strap, <laughs> the, the hook snapped off. That's why they lost this one. Afraid at the end, the hook snapped off. Yeah, someone had a bad day on this one. All right, guys, we're going to get one more last toss on this side of the bridge. Then we're going to switch to the other side and switch to the 2,100-pound dock buster. Here we go. Whoa. I hope that got caught on camera. Because I don't know what was next to my magnet when it hit the water, but it made a huge splash right next to my magnet. A manatee, maybe? I don't know. I don't see anything. That was wild. All right, that last cast was a no-go, so we're going to clean up over here and head to the other side. All right, everybody, we are on the other side of the water over here. A couple of weeks ago, there was a family on the other side over there, and I stopped in and talked to him, and the father said that he had found some type of ammunition over here. Um, he called it a military-style ordinance. He didn't say what it was, but we're gonna give it a shot over here and see if maybe we can locate what it was he found that he was not able to get up to the surface or he said he just threw it back down in the water. Let's give it a shot, see what we got. All right, we got something on this pool. And you know, last time I was over here, I pulled up a couple of these and they are some type of lithium battery, lithium ion. Not sure what they went to, but it's good to get stuff like this up out of the water. And another battery. That's three. You want to know why what we do out here is so important? Right there. I hope you all can see that manatee. But that Right there, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the big reasons we do 
what we do out here. And again, not all the trash we pull up out of the water out here is metal. And all right, we got a handle to something. It's a Schwinn, it's an old bicycle. That's a handle to an old Schwinn bicycle. That's a pretty cool find. That is old. That is super old. All right, what do we got here? Well, that gum, I don't have any idea what this is. All righty, in the bucket it goes. And we've got ourselves another find. Oh yeah, there is definitely another bicycle down there. Oh, here you go. Looky here. Here's the the brakes for a for a bicycle. All right. We found one today. Can we get another one up? And I believe I have found more of this bicycle. I think I found the rim for the tire. Yeah. That's definitely what that is. That bicycle is down there. I said there was more of it. Here comes more of it. This looks like it might be a... Well, I'm not sure what that would have been part of on the bike. Got one of the pedals. That's pretty cool. And it's like just a flange for the bridge. My bucket's starting to get full down there. That's my kind of day right there, magnet fishing. I seem to have landed on a really hot spot down here. It's like a part of a bicycle. Yeah, that's a handlebar and brakes for a bicycle. All right. That's a nice find. I can dig that. Now, a big old lag bolt. And just some scrap metal. And yet another find. Goodness gracious, I'm finding more of this bike. More and more of this bike. I just found the whole pedal gear assembly for the bicycle. Goodness. And we got us some more goodies here. This looks like some old wire cabling. Piece of pipe. And not really sure what that is. See this spot right here? This is a spot where I would love to see Jake and Adam from the Dirty Mag Yackers come out. Get all up in here, up under this bridge. Get up under the railroad bridge out there. Man, I bet they would have a blast in this spot right here. All right, there's another manatee. Right when my magnet hit, there was a big old tail swoosh right there. I didn't see it. There it goes. It just went back up under the bridge. But yeah, there's another manatee. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna have to be careful where I throw my magnet. I do not wanna land my magnet on top of a manatee. What do we have here? We have part of a tire? Really? Sure is. That's part of a tire. All right, I have latched onto something pretty doggone heavy here. Still haven't seen what it is yet. Here it is. It's coming up now. I think this is more of that bicycle. Oh, yeah. That's more of the frame to the bicycle. 
I wasn't sure at first there was anything on here with the way it was hanging, but it sure felt like there was. And yep, well, piece of rebar. All right, I've grabbed more of that bike. Got more of the rim. I don't think this went to the bike, but there's part of the inner tube. The inner tube. All right. All right, guys, this is going to be my last toss in. I've actually had a really good day out here. It didn't come out and find my main target, but hey, I had a good day. It was uh, pretty cool having Wesley out here from Clay Today newspaper. I can't wait for that to come out. He actually got to see me pull up the bicycle on the other side. We're going to get one more toss in. And we're going to call it a day. All right, well, that last toss was a no-go. I'm tired. I still got bowling tonight. So we're going to call it a day out here. I want to thank you all for joining me today on another Maggot Fishing Adventure. I really appreciate all your support and all the views. We're getting there. When I get to 750, I've got another announcement for you all. So what do you say we help get me there? I'm on my way to 1,000. I really want to get to that mark. It is a super goal of mine and of the kids back home. They really want to see it happen. If you like this video, please smash that thumbs up, hit subscribe, and click that beautiful notification bell so you'll know when my videos come out. Also, if you're interested in joining the Magnet Fishing family, click the link down below for Boot Magnetics, or you can use my checkout code TMS10. Now, I'm going to take my butt home, and I'm going to get myself clean using some Dr. Squatch soap. Guys, always leave the place a little bit better than you found it. Till the next time, stay squatchy, y'all.